Hey guys, welcome back. Anyways, uh, doing some more mods on the uh, mini excavator and the uh, controls. Next are the controls I've been working on, and uh, before they stuck out too too far, and had these pieces on here, they stuck out to here, and it was to get on off. It was a bit of a problem for me because I have thick legs, eh? Uh, like most big guys do, we have big legs and it's hard to get in. Um, I know with the uh, next, the model up from this one, the newer model, the controls for the um, for going forward and back are inside here. It's a little bit, bit better design. So uh, anyways, this works. But the thing is, what I had to do is I had to modify these. And now they're upright instead of being out here. Which causes a bit of a problem for getting in and out of it. It's actually safer too. Um, one of the things I um, I'm, I basically want I talked to the uh, seller about is uh, me putting a switch in there, so when you get on off the freaking machine, uh, see if you touch a lever, it won't um, do something on you unless you turn the machine off on and off it every time you get off it, which can be a problem. So. The light switch popped out there. It's not um, it's not a very good design that switch there. And I may end up taking that switch out of there and putting it on top on the dash here. Um, I just don't like it there. So every time you get on off the freaking machine, you're gonna be hitting it or something. I gotta push it back in or something, but I'm not gonna address that right now. At a later date. But um, the levers is what I'm talking about here. So, um, yeah, anyways, it is what it is. So, I'm going to work on these ones here tomorrow. And, uh, you know, I actually had to, uh, when you do this, uh, if you do this modification, I had to make uh, special uh, adapters here. But you can get, like, uh, they call them um, uh, nut uh, couplers. And they're metric, and they're really hard to come by, so I had to make my own. And tap them and such. So just screw them under here. I'd show you guys all this stuff, but I mean, who who in the hell wants to watch me do this kind of stuff? I get I get to tell you about it. So anyways, there you have it. Um, for me, it's better. You get on off the machine here, and you see now that uh, it's easier to get on off the machine because the levers were originally were here. It's hard to get on off it. Causes a bit of a safety issue, but uh, anyways, put him here, and it would be nice if they were in here between the levers, but it just is not the case on this model. A later date, I may change it, and maybe end up cutting this out here and putting the levers in here. But uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm not going to get too overly worried about it, but to make it safe and stuff. Um, I got the floorboards in. Here's the hinges here. You can lift this up and work on it in here, no problem now. Well, you can lift the hood up, of course. And this light I need to push in. I'm not sure what the hell's going on there. we will probably take the cover off again. Maybe something is, or take one of these off here and see what the hell's causing to push out like that. But anyways, I addressed that here. I just want to get these levers here up to show you guys, so... And we have a little short one here. Uh, same, same, same thing to all four levers. Have the short one here for the blade, and that one there for auxiliary. So, but that one there would probably be for the um, um, uh, for the um, I don't know what the hell that would be for actually. Well, this is the swing. Well, that's for the that'd be for uh, the um, uh, grapple. Right here, bucket, bucket grapple there. So I draw it, but it's not it's not hooked up. So I may um, well we'll see. I may put it in there. I'm not too sure yet. Um, I well I may just put it in there and uh, use it when I need it. But uh, I won't be needing it for a while. So can't do the basics on it for now. So. I mean, it's okay like this for now, but I mean, it's like my other tractor. It's nice having hydraulic grapple on there. 
so um, yeah so anyways uh, we're probably going to put this auto next time here and we pick up a cylinder for this thing a small cylinder I have some there but they're not the right size on the pins but I guess like I can make bushings I guess if you wanted to so yeah so that'd be the next thing anyways guys thanks for watching my video and um, see you in the next one so. oh another thing here too is uh, this works get enough play on it for this for the side shift so pretty cool anyways um not something you have to do with your your mini excavator for, but for me you know, if a hydraulic line blows you have to be pissing around taking this whole top off you just you know flip the lid over unbolt if you need to and work on the hydraulic without taking the uh, roll bar off so um the roll bar i'll be working on that but uh not not yet um when i'm move to my new place then i will uh, put the roll bar on because my garage is too too short and the other shop is a bit taller so but yeah so you have it so yeah mentioned to get, do some work with it maybe tomorrow or the next day and do some grading and the bucket here we're going to modify this bucket here uh, i have another i still have the piece of cutting edge there still so i'm going to modify that to fit on this bucket so we have a Nice little bucket there for digging. It's pretty, pretty small though. And we're gonna put the quick attach on there yet, and get rid of that uh, bullshit there. So, anyways, guys, time, time to get out of here. So, so, there we have it. All right, see the next one.